Hello, my loves. My name is Gina. Welcome to your love reading. So I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, guys, if you are interested in crystals to heal and clear your chakras for anxiety, depression, insomnia, you can visit Kim K Crystals. The link to her website is below. Um, she does live crystal sales on Facebook. Those events are a lot of fun. She gives a, a bunch of stuff away and I choose winners for free readings at those live events. Um, so if you'd like to check it out, the, uh, Facebook link is below. Okay. Um, what else? Special shout out to Juju at Lunar Logic Tarot 1111, Owl Tarot, and Distilled Tarot. Um, the links for those channels should be in the description box below under recommended readers, okay? Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. <laughs> I do choose multiple winners every single month. Um, I give away a bunch of stuff in the description box below. You'll see a whole list of everything that I give away. Just go ahead and hashtag in the description box, in the comment section below, excuse me, what you would like to manifest or win for the, um, the giveaway. Okay. And don't forget to click that notification bell. So you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. All right, let's get started. All right, my beautiful loves, let's see what we have here for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Leos, please. Holy Spirit, what messages does Leo need to hear today, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, Love Messages for my Leos, please. Clarity, all right, my loves, under the deck, we have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. We have the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. We have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. We have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Five of Swords. Oh my goodness. We have the Ace of Cups, and we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, Leo, wow. Okay, so guys, take what resonates, leave the rest. This could be your side of the story or your person's side of the story. Take it as it resonates, okay? So the overall energy is the King of Swords. So what we have here is someone that's very intelligent and someone with a plan. This is the man with a plan, okay? <laughs> so someone here has a plan, Leo. Um, we don't read gender, we read energy and tarot. So this could be a man or a woman. So Leo, what we have happening here is we have someone that possibly um, you're not in communication with this person. You haven't talked to this person in a long time and I feel like they're wanting to come out of that. They're wanting to come out of the cold. They're wanting to come back around. With the Ace of Cups, this person wants to rekindle with you, can, uh, Leo. This person wants to offer that love again. They want to give you their heart again. This person's going to come on very strong with emotion, okay? The problem here is with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse and the Five of Swords, it's mind games. This person isn't really looking to give anything to the connection. I don't know what this person's plan is, but with the Knight of Cups here, they're coming in to romance you, Leo. But with the Ten of Cups in the reverse, this person doesn't really have a vision for the future. I'm not really seeing that this person, um, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they're coming in to take something because the Six of Pentacles in the reverse is a card of breadcrumbing. It's unequal give and take, okay? So I feel that this person is coming in with this very romantic energy with the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups, okay? They're coming into like, you know, a lot of sweet words, sweet nothings, a lot of, uh, a lot of emotional offer here, Leo, okay? But, you know, the Ten of Cups is in the reverse. So is it actually going to come to completion I'm not seeing that they are intending for that to happen spirit what messages do we have here for my Leos please clarity guidance love messages for my Leos tell me about this ace of cups for Leo so we have the hierophant Taurus energy Leo this person's coming back you know 
literally talking marriage, talking very strong words of commitment, tradition, to a five of pentacles in the reverse. Six of cups in the reverse. Leo, this is someone that you have a very horrible history with. This is someone that you have very a very negative past with. This is someone that things didn't end well between you and this person. This is someone that mistreated you really badly in the pet. Like you don't have positive memories of this person. Tell me about the six of pentacles in the reverse. The five of pentacles. Leo, this person may be down on their luck. They may not have money. They may have lost their home, lost their job, and they need something from you, Leo. That's what's happening here. Five of swords for Leo, please. The death card in the reverse. This person has not changed Leo as far as I can see, or it could be that this person wants to win at all costs where they don't want things to end with you. This person may see that you're doing well, Leo. Okay, Capricorn energy, Taurus Virgo energy here, Leo energy. This person may see that you're doing well, Leo, and they want what you have. That's what it is here, Leo. I think that's what's happening here, Leo. I think what's happening is, is that you disconnected with someone in the past and you did well for yourself and this person has not. This person's like broke, like desolate. Like, I don't know what's going on with this person's life. Now, they're coming back towards you, Leo. This person doesn't want things to end with you. They may actually commit to you. They may, this is like a gold digger energy or it's like an energy of somebody wanting to come back. They're going to commit to you, but it's not for love. It's not for love. With that King of Pentacles energy, this person sees that maybe you're doing well financially or you're just living in a nice place or whatever the case may be. Um, they want what you have. They want what you have. So this person is coming back to be with you because of what you have. Tell me about the Knight of Cups here, please, for Leo. The Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy again. The Ten of Cups in the reverse for Leo. The Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Leo, I'm telling you, this person is coming in with a very romantic offer, an apology, very strong words of commitment. This person is down on their luck. This person is down on their luck and they're not coming towards you because of love. As far as I can see, they're coming towards you because they need something or they want what you have. What is the challenge here, please, for Leo or Leo? I don't know. You might be doing this to somebody. You may be down on your luck and wanting to go back to somebody. Tell me about the challenge here for Leo, please. All right, so we've got the Justice card in the reverse, Libra energy. We've got the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. And we have the Nine of Pentacles, oh, pre-Empress energy. Leo, let me just tell you something here. Someone here has, someone here, you, you disconnected with this person. And since you disconnected with this person, major karma has hit. Justice card in the reverse, wheel of fortune in the reverse. This person is really down on their luck. And here you are, this nine of pentacles, pre-empress energy, looking good, feeling good, smelling good, doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? And they want what you have. And Leo, it could be vice versa. You could be down on your luck and broke and the, the whole nine or whatever and your ex is doing really great and maybe you want to go back and have a little taste of what they have. So take that as it resonates, okay? Tell me about the justice card in the reverse for Leo. The world card. So a karmic cycle. This is a karmic soulmate that you ended already. This is a karmic cycle that has already closed out. It, it ended really ugly with this person. Maybe even divorce. I don't know. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, please. We've, again, the Sun card and the King of Pentacles. So this person is down on their luck and they come to find out and see that you're doing great in life or vice versa, Leo, or vice versa. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles, please, for Leo. The Temperance card in the reverse. 
Leo, I feel that you have not healed from this yet. So even though you're doing good, you're feeling good, you're, you're, you've moved on in life, this is still a, still a sore spot for you, Leo. You haven't really forgiven this person for what they've done to you. Yeah, you haven't really forgiven this person for what they've done to you. Even though you've moved on and done great things or you look good, you look like you've moved on and done great, you haven't really forgiven this person. Tell me about the outcome here for Leo, please. The outcome between Leo and this person, please. The Two of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles. And the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Leo, I feel like, okay, so the Two of Swords is a representation of needing to make a decision, but being blind when you make this, this decision. For the most part, when we make decisions in our life, we kind of know what, what's right and wrong, right? The Two of Swords talks about that energy of, I really don't know. Like, I really, you know, I, I still haven't forgiven this person, or maybe I still haven't really gotten over this person. You know, what would happen if I took them back? Have they changed? Could this really work? And with the Seven of Pentacles, there's a sense of nostalgia. There's a sense of looking back at the past and thinking to yourself, wow, yeah, you know, we were young back then or we made this mistake and we made that mistake and what if you know we're older now and we don't make those mistakes again? Ten of Swords in the reverse is an indication of it's not over. Okay, it's not over. It was hard with the Ten of Wands and the uh, Eight of Cups. It was hard to emotionally disconnect from this person. Um, it's been hard to walk away from this person, even though you're doing well. Someone here hasn't really gotten over this. Okay, yeah. See, I feel like I feel like we've got the four of wands and the six of swords here. I feel like someone here saying, "Let's let bygones be bygones. Let's you know have that stability. Let's go back to the way things were." I feel like this is someone that, you know, this could be a twin flame Leo. This could be, it, it is a soul tie energy. It is a divine counterpart energy. I feel like someone here left the connection because of pride, because of ego. Someone here maybe had that energy of like, you know, cheating and laughing in someone's face and walking away or, um, you know, taking someone for money. It's kind of like that energy, like, you know, when you break up and one person gets left with nothing and the other person kind of is just like laughing at the person that ended up with nothing. But the problem is, is that someone came up. So I feel like during the breakup, the person that really got the crappy end of the stick is the person that ended up glowing up. And the person that during the breakup had all that pride and ego and was like, yeah, look at me, I'm doing great. Now they're, they're, now they're out of luck, right? You see what I'm saying? Like the tables have kind of turned here. So let's see. Tell me about the two of swords for Leo. Yeah, see, Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So there is this energy of, you know, what would happen if maybe I just take it slow and, you know, give, you know, there's a temptation to give to this person, but to be, to be slow about it. I feel like there is an apology. There is an offer here to work on things. Okay. I feel like someone here knows that they have to apologize for that seven of swords behavior. They want a second chance. I feel like someone here is going to come in full of regret saying that their wish fulfillment is to heal this. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be like this person has as a plan. They want to come back. They want to fix this. Um, and I feel like seven of pentacles, please, for Leo. I feel that, you know, four of cups. I feel like in the past, in the past, Leo, this is somebody that you offered a lot of love to, and there was a sense of rejection, and that hurt somebody. Yes, yeah, see, three of swords under the deck, and that hurt someone tremendously. And I feel like you've always craved that victory. You've always wanted this person to come and beg for you back. You always kind of wanted this person to come back to you. You always wanted to like win. There was a sense of needing to win. So maybe Leo in the past, this person left you for someone else or you left this person for someone else. It can be vice versa. Um, so Leo, you know, maybe someone here like what, like an energy of I wasn't chosen or you weren't good enough or you know what I'm saying? And now this person is back. So even though there may be, because that two of swords energy, you know, talks about not knowing what to do. So maybe even if you're in this energy of like, I really don't know what's going to happen, but you know, 
I always wanted this to work in the past and I know they screwed me over, but it does kind of feel good to know that like they're back and that they want me again type of energy. Do you see what I'm saying? Tell me about the Ten of Swords in the reverse. The Magician in the reverse, Virgo Gemini energy. Leo, this person, and then we've got the Queen of Cups under the under the deck, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This person knows how to emotionally manipulate, okay? So Leo, either you still have love for this past person and they know how to emotionally manipulate you or vice versa, okay? Or vice versa. What advice do we have here for Leo, please? So we've got the Nine of Cups in the reverse, So Leo, you may find yourself in a place where I kind of feel Leo, like you're in this energy of you have everything that you want, but maybe emotionally you're still codependent on this person because the nine of pentacles is in the upright. So when it comes down to being independent, when it comes down to your finances or standing on your own two feet, you seem to be okay. But emotionally, because you know, the nine of pentacles is a single energy. So maybe Leo, you're still single and emotionally you're very vulnerable or still codependent on this past person. And that is where the crack is where this past person is able to come in infiltrate and do that emotional manipulative thing okay emotionally so let's see what's going to happen here okay because i feel like with that ten of cups in the reverse and that hierophant there i and the the king of pentacles i feel like this person is coming in for commitment leo they're just doing it for the wrong reasons so let's see what the outcome here is going to be let's see if this person if there's any chance of them changing let's see if love can grow here let's see if you know you're finally going to get the karma that's due to you like you obviously put out a lot into this connection in the past. Is that good going to come back towards you? What you know? What's going to happen here? Okay, because I feel like whether you guys want to admit that or not, there's still a soft spot here that this person has to work with where they can infiltrate. Okay, um, and you know, again, it can be vice versa, Leo. So in the extended. We're going to go deeper into that and we're going to pull some Oracle, get some more advice and clarity. The link for the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. Bye.